Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today at the Talman Museum of Art. Today we are looking at this fabulous work of art by artist Carlos Almaraz called Pink Overpass. What do you notice when you look at this work of art? Is there anything that stands out to you? What do you notice about the colors? What time of day would you say this is? What's happening in this painting? This beautiful painting by Carlos Almaraz is a fantastic example of impasto painting. Impasto painting is when you use strong colors and brush strokes to create a really striking image that literally comes off of the canvas as the paint layers are layered thickly onto the canvas. So it almost becomes a three-dimensional work of art. Here we see a couple of cars going over the overpass and it appears to be perhaps sunset as we can see the beautiful sunset colors of pinks and orange and purples and we can even see the lights shining down onto the overpass. We see four cars in this image. On the top overpass, there are two cars that are dark blue in color. And on the bottom overpass, you see two cars that are closer together, one red and one a dark blue color. What do you think is happening with these cars? Well, according to the artist, this is just before an accident takes place. Perhaps these two speeding vehicles on the bottom overpass are going towards each other and are about to crash. Carlos Almarez says that they like to paint beautiful pictures, but they also have fears. And one of these fears is a car crash. And so by painting their fear, they make it less scary. What's something that you are afraid of? Would you feel better if you were able to draw it or paint it? Would it become something less scary? Would you do it in this impasto style, this very dramatic color and brush stroke or strong pencil strokes? We hope you've enjoyed this painting by Carlos Almaraz in the exhibition, A Very Anxious Feeling, Voices of Unrest in the American Experience. And we'll see you next time. All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today at the Taubman Museum of Art. We are going to be drawing our own cars. So you can draw a car that you see all the time, or you can make your car more imaginative and maybe add some really cool features like some wings or flamethrowers or something cool like that. Totally up to you. But first, we're gonna start with the basics of our car. And so most cars are pretty aerodynamic, right? And so they have sort of rounded edges to them, All right? And they might have a front end hood. Now this is just a sketch, so you can do it just with some pencil and paper and just kind of get some ideas ideas about your car, where some of these things could be, just like you're designing. You just kind of want to make some, some marks here and there. And as you find things that you like, you can then start to add that in. Where's your windshield going to be? on your car, where are your headlights, and 
have a front seat and a back seat. What do you have going on with your car? How many doors does it have? Does it have a really cool design? Like, is there a stripe that goes all the way to the back of your car? Have a really cool design feature. Like I said, does it have wings? Can it turn into an airplane? Can it turn into a robot? What are some cool things for your car? I hope that you use your imagination and come up with something really fun to create a car of your own. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Hello, it is I, Tabby the Great Art Detective, and I'm so glad you could join me today, friends. You have done such a wonderful job being great art detectives. And so, we should say a great art detective model. Are you ready? Here we go. We investigate those who create and salute those who inspire because we know that making art is good for the heart and questioning makes us smarter. I pledge to look, listen, and learn. And if we follow all the clues, we can make great art too. Fantastic, that's wonderful. Okay, thank you friends. Hey, listen, I'll see you next time.